Yes, it's finally time. I've been waiting for this longer than I care to admit. Street Fighter VI is finally here, oh. and Aki's bringing it in full force. Stay full Fox joined by force. CD Mangaka. Colin, what's going on today? We have the top 32 of our 162 man bracket here Insane. for a day two tournament of Street Fighter VI. Thank Insanity. God Akihabara Arcade just recently finished its expansion. Yeah, it looks great in here. It is fantastic. It's it is huge. phenomenal. So I got a wall space. for 16 setups when I used to only be able to field eight on that wall. We doubled our setup space. There's tons of cabs in here. The vibes have been absolutely immaculate. I've seen new faces. I've seen old faces come on back out of retirement from the FGC just for this event today. There's a $1,000 pop bonus put up by Akihabara Arcade. Last time I looked, there's $105 in the Macharino, y'all. Exclamation point. Macharino in the chat. If you want to support any of the top eight players today, donate there. There's a couple of sponsor things you can do to put free money in there. Drop some cash yourself. Should be 105 in there, courtesy of Suavier. Thank you so much for that, my friend. It's all going to the players, and it's been absolutely phenomenal. And I have to, of course, shout out our sponsor, Junk Food Custom Art. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. I planned it. I planned it. I swear. What do we got here? Look at this. Look at this beautiful. So the raffle winner today will take yes. us home. We are hosting a raffle. We are yep. selling a whole bunch of tickets and the like of it. This is what the raffle prize winner is going to receive. We got some other prizes, some posters in there, beautiful. a couple gift cards for Junk Food Custom Arcades as well. Not only that, they sent me a second shipment of PS5 compatible boards. So the winner of Street Fighter VI could take that board and then play at the next local with it. And speaking of the Ready champion. Well, I mean, a, ch a champion needs a trophy. A trophy. And look at this. Look, look, I mean, just just beautiful. Absolutely oh. stunning and gorgeous. Shout out, of course, to our artist, Stealthy Burrito, Madison. They made immaculate it's designs. A, it's a great name. It's a great name. It's a great name. Uh, that burrito really snuck up on me. You know that? That's what I'm going to be saying about my lunch a little bit later. But right now, my friends, we are getting into the winner's side of our top 32. I think both of the players are sitting down right now. We'll get a look at them in a moment. We have Zach123 on the player one side, rocking it out. Coming back out. First time I got to see him in person, to be honest. It's been a long time since I've seen him in person. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Street Fighter V obviously kind of took quite a dive in uh, yes. our region in general. And when that did, as that kind of separated himself uh, to playing online like yep. the rest of the Street Fighter players did and playing Thirst Strike. And yet here he comes back to uh, the land of Street Fighter VI. Feels like almost out of retirement. Yep. Uh, and then, we, of course, we have Slugbug, a guy who I've seen when I first started to come out to Locals like five years so ago. So great Street Fighter V player. Yes. Um, from the uh, Monument area. Mm -hmm. So kind of in between a, a yep. little bit of, of both playing here. Was a, a, a heavy Springs attendee in the Street Fighter V days. Mm -hmm. And you're going to see a lot of people uh, in this tournament on this stream who played a lot of Street Fighter V. Mm -hmm. And the game kind of disappeared. And all of a sudden, everyone's back. Like, Every, and everybody bought this game. When's the last time we had 16 setups for one game? Never. Bro, never. I don't want, I don't want Every, to say never. Everybody bought this Shout game. Shout out to the community as well for bringing us so many PlayStation 5 consoles. About nine of those 16 were our own consoles. Yeah. A couple of them are Akihabara's. One of them is mine. Excruciation brought his personal one. You and Itrez from the Buttons on Wake Up team brought about four between the two of you. It just goes to show like everybody bought this game. Yes. This is just how popular it is. And, and it's quick. We're going to get right into it. Zach, one, two, three, player one, slug bug, player two. Here we go. A battle of the waifus. Are you more of an ass man or a foot person? We're going to find <laughs> out. Cap on the only place you're going to ask this wall crush is good. Jury combo in the corner. Slug bug looking nice comfortable tech, to start. Nice but we That's don't gonna scout hurt out big the DI. Time. In the corner. Oh, slug bug looking clean. I don't want to alert any uh, Capcom officials, but uh, this yeah. is kind of a cracked gameplay, you know Whoever what I mean? Whoever wins this <laughs> tournament, I'm turning in. <laughs> Congratulations on uh, your in. your new micro snack box. Yeah, it's the you... last thing you're ever going to win in yeah, Street Fighter 6. Absolutely. <laughs> last time you're allowed to play. DI to start, drive rush. Oh, but the multi hits of DI. Jury. That's the thing about DI is that, yes, it is a strong tool. It is fairly quick. It is reactable. But sometimes some characters just have multi-hitting tools, and that means they're naturally equipped to sort of deal with it. And you have armor breaks on other characters. And like look, how, look how early. I mean, we're just, uh, you know, 20 seconds into the round. Slugbug's already burnt out. And I think we've seen a lot of this from higher level play online mm -hmm. so far is the meter's worth burning because a handful of blocks and you're kind of right back to where you planned right? to be Right, and I mean, look place. at this. Slugbug has been able to slow the neutral down, and now they're about to get their It was uh, like he was never burnt out. Yeah, exactly. And he converts it flawlessly. Wow, clean first game from Slugbug. 
Looking immaculate right now. So far, the Feet gang walking all over. On guard. Feet 1-0. Feet 1-0. Feet 1-0. Feet 1-0. We stepping out here. Slug bug. Feeling good here. Zach 1, 2, 3 now using them fundamentals. Just trying to find a couple pokes. Gets anti-air. And look at the pickle from Slugbug as well. You don't see that many players have those conversions at a tournament this early Holds in a game's release. the parry. Neutral jump looking okay. No reaction on the DI. Interrupt on the drive rush. The air to air though. And now Zach 1, 2, 3 is burnt out. We saw Slugbug deal with it pretty well last Overhead round. Overhead out of the drive rush is good this time. Combo looks good in the corner. Goes oh. double overhead. Catches the neutral jump. Throws okay. A nice jab check though by Zach, but a better block by Slugbug. So far though, Zach able to fight their way out, but it's looking pretty tight for them. It, crazy that this is not only the second time that Slugbug has been burnt out, oh. but the second time Slugbug's gotten drive back. Right? And here's the thing too, like... Interrupt ah. and Slugbug already on set point. Street Fighter VI looking quick early on. It really do be like that. But one thing is that you're going to look at some of these earlier events and kind of see there's so much still to be left on the table. We saw a punish counter by Zach in that last round. There was a conversion there that he didn't have unlocked just yeah. yet. So a lot, of, out. a lot of things to learn. So for it. much left on the table. Slugbug, every button on the arcade stick getting hit neutral. And uh, holding up a lot. Ooh, oh, gets throw. caught by the hooligan. Nice, we in got the those. corner, gets the DP combo. Welcome throws okay. Strike those. Oh, oh wake, up, wake up, three. up super and he got him! And she's in critical art as well, so he's gonna do extra damage. It's Zach one, two, three is gonna have a little bit of life left to him. He's gonna hurt bad. Wait, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Drive rush. Trying Drive to find rush some bait. Zach feeling Drive a rush skittish. again, this time goes low. Reversal, that's punish. And punish counter, Easy that punish. is it. Slug Zach bug. with the handshake. A big smile from him, man. We'll see a lot of him as this game is out. We'll see a lot of both of these players. Mm -hmm. Quite yeah. true, quite true. Good stuff there from Slugbug. Again, showing a lot of situational awareness uh, with this Jerry. I think Zach123, this is one of those things where it's like, man, what could I have done in that situation better? I got a punish counter on the roundhouse, for example. What else could I have done there to really pick up? What's my conversion there? That's a lot of the questions that so many of us playing this game are going to be asking ourselves uh, coming up there. Yeah, there's a lot to come in the next handful of months here, right? Um, I mean, there's so much unknown Mute. and trying to find uh, trying to find answers to problems we're finding early yes. on day one makes you know it, it, it's it's tough to do, right? Yeah, uh, it, it we're just out here playing a game, you know, 24 hours after release, which is crazy. Effect effectively, so right, and I mean, there's so many like like minor little changes and stuff. I've heard that Ken's Tatsumaki got buffed. Uh, Kim really suffered a few nerfs yep. things. So like, even if you've like been like very familiar with some of the previous betas that have been released for the game, things are a little different right now and there's still so much to uncover. And that's the exciting thing is that the tech is only going to get deeper as we progress into this game's lifespan. We're figuring out a lot of the offense, we're figuring out a lot of the day one, then there's gonna come defense, then there's gonna come situational awareness, and that's when the game's gonna become insane. Yeah, it kind of makes you wonder what kind of you know speed this game's gonna end up actually being. We don't know at this point. True, if right? the feel, feel, game feels really, really fast right now and that everybody's dying, is that because you know, we don't know how to play defense, or are we just playing an offensive heavy Street Fighter game? Well, I, I think some of it is that you got so many different people from so many different like other scenes coming on in there, right? Oh, that yeah. You, I can kind of look and see like, yo, this guy is trying to play like it's an anime fighter. Well, you get half the audio then. So I got a player saying only one side works. Uh, then then you get one audio. I don't know. It looks like Colin fixed it. So I know we've got Mike on the right. I think this is... Uh, uh, oh, it starts with a V. I'm sorry, buddy. If you're watching this VOD, I owe you one. Veach. Here we go. Thank you. Now, I think both of these players... Uh, no. Yeah, both of these players came out of the same pool. Yes. Um, anyone in the winner side of uh, top... 32. I think anybody is playing anybody out of their uh, pool. The like same the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. I think that's how we set it up. We could probably done things a little bit differently, but sort of how the... So Marissa, player one. Button check, gotcha. A button check. There is, there's an overlay in the game. He just wants to see it. He doesn't believe it if you don't see it. This is Veach we're talking about. Oh, Man boy, walked boy. in with his PC and monitor. I'm like, dude, I got a wall of 16 monitors and I need PS5 consoles. What yeah, are you doing? Unbelievable. So I guess you're gonna do a button check, which is crazy in 2023. <laughs> um, hey, listen, at least I turned Bluetooth off. For those of you who are considering buying a Street Fighter 6 or are new, 
Um, there is a feature in your control set. Yes. To check your buttons. You will see most so that you don't it. have to do that. Right. Yeah. They they thought of everything. Yeah. They thought of everything, but you know he's got to see it to believe it, I suppose. Beach, our champion from the most recent open beta tournament that we hosted online. Shoutouts to uh, Ryan Meyer. Really. Yep. He beat Shogun. Really. From loser side. But 72P was not in that bracket. Yeah, That's who our favorite to win today. Yeah, Mike looking pretty strong so far. All right, so here we go. All right, there we go. The Dragon plus. Flash kick, some plus frames. Nice jab check out there. Tried to whiff punish. I respect it. That's a scary oh, one. Nice. Punish right over the top and of the fireball. That's a DP motion, by the way. Mm -hmm. That overhead? Weird. That looks crazy. Okay. Weird. Yep, DP Big motion. Big chilling. Hold the heavy punch. If he's trying to let that, some of that drive gauge restore before he goes back in, Mike. Just trying to find their way to get in there sexily, if you will. Yeah. What a jump. Got to get in smooth. Interrupt is there. Big oh, time on the second back medium there. There comes the throw. We're approaching that corner now, and Ken's one of those characters Does it who's again. got free throw loops. There's Does a third serving, a fourth one. Nah. Oh, he went for the shimmy, and unfortunately, the button that uh, he tried to whiff on was too long. Yeah, no, and Mike calling out the shimmy, too, with the low oh, poke right there. That's beat, a high-level call. He beat out the DI there. It was just a little too late. If he DIs any earlier, I think he wins there. Yo, actually, Veach could lose off of this burnout Hang just because of Mercy's tools. Trying to fade back. A Mike second round, and a 5K. Him. Standing light kick. Yep, just press it. Press it. Just press it. A little head knock from Mike. All right, here we go. Sexy Mike, of course, a player who learns very quickly, and can DP a button that doesn't really break through armor all that well. Back throw. No bounce. I was saying that Mike usually comes out and wins a lot of the games early on, but then at a point, kind of falls behind some of the other meta. But Beach, I know that this man has been doing a list of things. So big, be on the lookout. Big time level three is going to do big boy damage. He's got the corner here, but oh, he dashed up the throw. armor with a throw. But there's the overhead. He's out the stance. He's got EX here. Got to watch out for that. Oh, he tried to whiff punish with a throw. The drive gauge is back or beach. Too long but he trades. trades. He needed to show Ryukin to have the yep. iframes to deal with it. Try to go for the safer, more fast, crouching fierce, but instead. Loses the set from the tray, but here we go. We got combos. Terrifying jump if you're Mike. Oh, but there's Bad Mike. Throw. Beach conditioned them to go for throw text, but he wasn't able to walk back far enough. Escapes the corner. Really good stagger pressure from Mike. Oh. Beach starting to find the timing. Jump over is good. There's the bounce this time. Doesn't get the five or the the down heavy there. And Mike is trying to enter the armored stance that Marissa has because you have a command throw from it as well as an overhead and a low, but Veach is throwing him out of it before he has time to really utilize it. Big whiff punish. Huge confirm with the drive rush. Oh, the Back dashes the throw, though. There it is, Shishore Yukin. the air. You'd love to see it. Veach is going, nah, okay, I'm going to do it right next time. Escapes the DI. No good. Big oh. jump in again, trying to put pressure on Veach. D uh, drive meter back now. It's Mike EX fireballs for days, oh, and he throw. catches him with a walk-up throw. Mike shakes his head. A little hooting and hollering from the Yaki Yo, of our There are crowd so back many there. people in here, and we got such great space to watch this. I just need chairs down there, but that's an improvement for later. Lude, Take the screen carry, hollering. plus three situation, and now back to Nooch. Veach laying the drive gauge recover. Mike trying to find a way in. Sticking oh. buttons out there to see if he can bait some sort of Ken movement. He doesn't quite get what he's looking for. The DI is good at the end here. Dragon Bounce flash combo. kick, the side swap, that was gross. Oh, the setup looking good. Plus frames. Plus frames again. And Mike probably went for a throw tech there, but Veach interrupted with a crouching light punch. What a tech. Veach is cooking now. Oh. Over. But again, one of those situations where away. the optimal punish wasn't quite there for Mike. Heavy, heavy. Forward throw is good. Marissa looks so satisfying. Well, looks for animations. the low out of the stance. And unfortunately, uh, Veach was already in the air. Standing Veach, fierce. On, Veach on match point here. Yep. Match point. You know, we should be able to get into some of our other upcoming matches. Mike trying to find his way in. Heavy punch charge is good this time. There's Back throw. throw. Plus frames, and he got caught. Confirmed, not quite there yet. It's really It cool. is day two. It is to be day two. With a lot of respect from both players with the DI so far, assuming they're going to be able to see it. Mm-hmm. You gotta be so conscious about what buttons you press in neutral as well, because not all of them DI, are DI cancelable. And I just say it, and here comes the fat DI oh. drops the combo. Mike jabs out, that hurts bad. And wake, wake up, up super. super. And Mike baits it completely, and gorgeous. 
I love that from Beach because that would have beaten Strike, that would have beaten Throw, but Mike picked the one option to I deal see, with this See, weight. I don't because you could have just done EX. You had plenty of drive meter. You get the same I thought effect. Beach was burnt out. No. No, you get that. Oh, I hope not. I, I thought he was, but I could be wrong. You might be right. Yeah, I don't believe so. Because now he's down to zero meter here. Yep, right. That's the that's the interesting ring thing, right? Like your drive gauge resets between every round, but it's your super meter that doesn't. So it's that's the reason. It's hard not to use more EX moves, even though you totally should now that they're separated from your super meter. Yes. Oh, the air-to-air -air dragon flash kick gets Beach some Okazemi. Does a nice long block string. Pushes Mike back. Letting some of these jumpers oh. go. The beautiful punish counter. Tatsumaki plus three situation goes for a throw bait. That's really, Mike it. really good movement from Veach there to catch that whiff punish. Caught him in the toes, and this might do it right here. And there it is, the yeah. full burnout GGs. combo. Veach will take it 2 0 over Mike. It's E2 plus. He's saying things into the microphone. Yeah, he do be saying things. We're going to be calling out a couple other matches. We got a few of our games ready to go for the winner's qualifier match. I imagine we're going to see Marquito and Slugbug on yeah. the stream next. So, Marquito, we saw earlier today, uh, another Ken player, just like Beach. Um, really strong fundamental veteran Street Fighter player. Whenever I have fought Marquito in any of the games, I'm like, this dude's trying to play Street Fighter. Well, and Beach is one of those players, too. In Dragon Ball, you look at him play Dragon Ball Fighters, he's playing Street Fighter. I think you're seeing a lot of people kind of revert to the more traditional Street Fighter characters mm. for this tournament because yes. no one has more practice than someone who's been playing since Super Turbo. Right. Uh, you know, like and, I sure you can, to sure you can. Exactly, and the game plan has been the same for mm. you know many iterations of this game at this point. I don't think that's changed necessarily with that subset of characters, uh, but they're much more interesting in this game with the drive rush system, with yes. the drive impact and, system. And they've gotten some tools back, like Ken has the he, crazy kicks back. Uh, Ryu has, has a has whole a, new toolkit to him with the, the dungeon mechanic. And the EX donkey kick is great. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to see the bounce back. And then, like you're saying, into the, into the dungeon stuff. I mean, they found ways to take the characters that um, we've loved traditionally, leave them s the same enough for veteran players to come back and There's that up. old core toolkit to them, but yeah. then there's some new things to play with. You get some new things on your favorite old school character. Yeah, and who doesn't love that? And I think they found a really nice way to do that with this game. Yep. And of course, too, there was the open betas and the closed betas before that. That yep. happened as well, where you had the eight characters that were on it. So we're seeing Slugbug with the jury that was available in there. We're seeing all these Kens, some Ryu's. You should be playing a beta character if you're playing in a $1,000 release event tournament. Right, you know, like, you know, I hope you got those closed beta accesses too, you know, so only got me into 33rd place, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Same. All right. Bring out a few announcements. Oh, this one's going to be hype. Oh, this is going to be super hype. That's yeah, actually so I, OD. Yeah, so I just heard Noah call 72B and Skillzilla. Yep. Then Marquito and Slugbug. Yep. And then it's Veach and Crazy J. Okay. And then it's Jonzo and Havoc Noah. And I actually ran into Jonzo online the other night. And if they're playing Jamie, they were fucking clean. They were really Jonzo's clean. a great fighting game player. Mm-hmm. Incredible fighting right. game player. Just kind so, of appeared out of nowhere one day. Seems to pick up every game. Isn't, uh, I believe two. they've been playing like um, some Zato and Strive. I could be wrong. I'm trying to remember all my. Yeah, that sounds of. correct to me. Yep. Right. Yeah. It's like I, I'm hoping I'm remembering that correctly. But I mean, fundamentals, the defense, everything was super solid. Oh yeah. None of the scrub tactics worked. No, 100% like, oh, knew what he was doing in that game, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, then that goes for how I played with them uh, in the online event. Uh, the other day. We're currently getting our uh, two players, Skillzilla and 72B, on the stream. Noah, I need you to go run and find them. Just yelling at the microphone isn't enough. <laughs> I think they're working on it. Yeah, yeah, they're trying. A lot of people in here. It's a big space. There's a whole new wall and things like that. We got loud things and loud voices, but yeah. the space is so much bigger now, it's so much harder to hear us. Yeah, it's a good problem to have. But by the way, I love the outfit coordination. You know, this was unintentional. Very much. I, I, I picked this shirt intentionally. I did too. But, but you know, not, we, we do not coordinate this. No. I just like, no, I am wearing my T.O. shirt. Yep. It says staff on it. That seemed to make the easiest day. It, it made sense. I just wish everybody else got that internal memo, you know? And so now we okay. found the players sitting on down. We've seen 72B play both uh, Guile and I believe the other character was JP uh, earlier today. I might be tripping. Imagine being the worst person alive. You know what I mean? True. Just playing like... <laughs> Just, I mean, uh, imagine, imagine, and then of course, I bet he plays Happy Chaos and Strife. Right. He just wants to sit as far back as possible. No, I respect it. Um, JP, kind of cool, an interesting character. Oh, Colin beat me to it. 
Yeah, it, we, we I was were thinking of that too. Too bright. It was too bright. I saw me. I was like, man, my face. I know I'm like a, pasty. a vampire, you but are I'm not. Definitely pasty. I am yeah. not that pasty. Me neither. You know, so I had to. I, I had to make myself. Much, look I play too much disc golf to be pasty. <laughs> outside a lot. Uh, I used to work outside. Now I'm all inside. The reason I'm talking so much shit is because uh, Skillzilla from the Springs. Yes. OG. Uh, has taught me many a thing about many a game. Uh, super, super nice guy, but most importantly from my city. So uh, we need to win. Here we go. Skillzilla on the cami. 72B on the guile. It's going to be a game of trying to get in and staying in if you're playing the Cammy and the Guile matchup yep. here. Classic Street Fire stuff here. Now, Cammy was not a character that was available in the beta, but again, it's still the same. There's a lot of the old Cammy tools that are still intact yes. for yeah. this character, plus a few new things. And it's it's Skillzilla. Yeah. Oh, there's the overhead from 72B looking absolutely clean. The oh, flash kick on the drive rush. Bruh. My man said, whatever you're trying to do, I'm not having it. Big round from 72B to get started. He's looked super strong so far in this tournament. Yes. Driver what gets an blocked. Air air. How are you wow, that was that? so meaty. Down heavy's good though. We trade. trade. 72B. Oh. Able to react now. Here's the one thing about 72B. You will not be able to check him with drive impact. He is always looking for it. He is always ready for it. And he is picking options that let Huge. him deal with it. Huge damage. Ah, the triple jab confirm doesn't quite work. I feel like one thing about this game is that while triple hit confirms are possible, it's the double light confirms are going to be yeah. the strength of a true player because you need this, to react that quickly. This time from Skillzilla, though, it's good. Oh, but no, they dropped the combo! Drop. No, Skills, they please. They trade, but there's only so much light that Skillzilla has to measure yeah. out, and there it is, the counter hit. 72B takes game punch. one. Crouch medium, excuse instant me. Instant rematch, too. I love yeah. that feature so much. It's so fast that as our so stream runners updating the score, we're behind. Yeah. Flash kick. Subarashi. Big flash kick from 72B. Skillzilla was finally getting somewhere with it. Couldn't sniff out the DP. Wow. Big How reaction. Are How are you ready? This is just absolutely clean! And I mean, this is just... This is brutal. Absolutely. 72B just showing a, to be a cut above the rest so far. Looking to make top eight. And if he does, he'll be one to watch for here. Don't count Skillzilla out until the health bars are at zero, though. There it is. Jab, jab, flash kick. Crouch overhead. Oh, the hooligan. And there it is, the double light confirm, right? There's the overhead pressure. Skillzilla just a few it's hits just, away from going to losers. He's just keeping him out. And I mean, this has just been every button was correct. I'm not even sure how it was possible. Oh, and, there's the low. The low wasn't enough. And Checks the jab. With the and jab, that's, and that's that is it. Sammy 2 b will take it 2 0 over Skillzilla. That's. Just what? dominating performance right there. That looked broken. That, that, that looked broken. That looked kind of cracked, if you will. How do you even nerf that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I feel like, I don't know. Like, I've played Guile in like the, the closed betas and stuff, and I haven't like really felt as oppressed by him so oh. far in this one. But maybe I'm just not finding the Guiles that really understand Guile's game plan. And 72B looked like he understood it to a T. That yeah, was way too clean. I am concerned about that character. This is no. my... Concerned face. Um, not, not, not the zoner. Yeah. Not the charge input guy. Now, th th this is the era of everybody. Uh, I think I've seen seven different characters mm -hmm. on Twitter where someone claims, "quote This character is going to be a problem," and then some shitty clip. Yeah. So what the fuck do we know, right? It's what, day two. What do we know? It's day two. It's day, day two. two. But 72B qualifying for winners top eight. He's guaranteed money today. He's placed in the dollar bills, and that is a fantastic thing for himself. Our next match, though, is going to be Marquito and Slugbug. If y'all kept up with the Colorado Street Fighter scene back in those days, this should be two very familiar players Big for y'all. Big Slugbug fan. Me too. Big Slugbug fan. One of the fan. first Great friends player. I think I can say that I made out here in yeah. the FGC. Yeah. Just chatting on the side because Slugbug so nice. dabbles in some Dragon Ball yep. uh, as well back in the day. These so. guys can play anything. So here's what's interesting is that Slugbug actually comes from a, a three brothers. 
Right. I thought there was two of them. Oh god, there's more? There, there is three of them. So, um, both of the two of them that I already knew were absolutely incredible Street Fighter V players. And then I'm running another pool, and we get to loser side, and there's a name running through. <laughs> there's a name running through, and he goes, oh yeah, here's the third brother. And I was like, wow, you guys really just have a household of really good Street Fighter players. Bruh, I mean, like... All three of them could play. That's a reality. That that would have been my life if me and my younger brother, Kotozu Zero, would have like gone into fighting games like when we were kids. All three of them could play. Isn't that crazy? That that's so that's so sick, man. Ain't no better training partner like one that you live with. Yeah, because you can just play whenever. Yeah, you can play whenever, and you know what? You know, if your brothers and stuff, you could probably do a whole bunch of deep diving yeah. stuff. But I am so hyped for this set: Jury Han versus Ken Masters. Let the uh, the, look at these intros. It's so sick. It's they so are, hype. They are super cool. The fireworks, stuff like that. Yeah, show sure. Marquito like, oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> la, 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 la. You All right, talking so to a girl. A top eight qualifier could be the first Springs rep to make it. Rooting for Slugbug, you are. Ah, I'm always rooting for my city. I Hell come yeah. here for biased commentary. Absolutely. That's why, that's why the air to air from Marquito, followed by a huge conversion. It beat out that parry of the fireball. That's a unique set play. Pushes ah, through Marquito. We didn't react to the DI. Marquito smothering Slugbug in this corner, but the anti-air checking yeah. the neutral jump. Please get out. Overhead, confirm is there. Right. Slugbug needs another hit to even this health bar out. Oh, and we whiff punish the dive kick with the target combo. Can't miss at this point. And we're jab checking the drive rush as well. There's the oh, DI. This big. time it's Marquito's turn to get hit. Level one super, a little bit of drive gauge damage, buy time for Jury to regenerate hers. Oh, oh he we got had the, the shimmy, shimmy but then it was the punch. Mm. No button, no button. There's the dive kick. It's so tricky to react oh, to that. Oh, he but did it too soon. He did it too soon. I think Slugbug was expecting. Oh, it killed. My Bro. man woke up with this Said it's for breakfast. Hold this wake up. Our Okizemi, brother. Our Okizemi. And there's a tick throw from Marquito. Again, we saw Marquito get off to a strong start last round. Oh, you can't jump in on this man. He's got them fundamentals. Not at that angle. Overhead, Overhead. once more. Combos there, good damage from that. Yeah, we're too. getting this point in the Meterless. bracket where everybody has the combos now. Oh, and that's level three. He's gonna do big time damage, drag the knuckles. And he gets the burnout state two on Slugbug. That is massive. Marquito should be able to threaten some offense. Goes for the throw. Watch for the heavy normal into drive rush. Or into drive lane back. Oh, Jesus, a jump the with the track and flash kick Marquito. He wanted plus frames, he got the round. Covered both options. Covered block, covered jump, evens it out. Uh, DI's good, hit a button way too late. And this time level one. Take some of those, no buffs for Jury. not to eat that level three Oh, but we throw. whiffed the low, but it he works out for slow. got back throw instead. Yes. I definitely didn't want that. Punish, no. super aware, overhead combo, EX. Another level one. level one. And we're seeing slug bug. Nearly on every combo, they're Did using only one bar of their super gauge to tack on a little bit of extra damage, holding on to other things. The dive kick works. Marquito goes I'm down. I'm glad he won that round because level two probably kills there. And you're going to regret. With the full combo? You, yeah, you're going to regret not going for the extra cheddar. Yeah, right? But the, the one thing about that, too, with Jury's level two, it's the install super. Gets all the anime combos and stuff. So Big shimmy for Marquito, who's already almost burnt out. Oh, baits the ODDP. I know Capcom labeled their system overdrive on purpose so we could say ODDP. It's gonna take me a minute. <laughs> oh! Perfect parry, back fist, EXDP's good. But the jab check from Slugbug just contesting such high level options. I don't wanna take the tick throw. You better have your meaty on time because I can either win or you can finish me now. And a confirm into it too, which is just insane. Burnout stay for Marquito. This can be a little spooky. Able to side swap, so now there's no more stun risk. Interrupts good. Both players burnt out now. But hang on, Slugbug making a bit of a comeback here. Be careful. Back throw's okay. Dive kick, no Marquito. punish. We saw Extra button. And there oh, it is. The thing is, with the crazy kicks from Ken, when you have your drive gauge intact, it's a scrub killer. When you're in burnt down, it is legit terrifying. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. You have to actually hold it. And you have to block correctly. Yep. That's where Ken's uh, Jinrai kicks really shine, is in that so, burnout state. So push back from the DI from Slugbug. EX pushes him all the way to the corner. Purple pants on the Ken, moving forward. Plus, Plus range, the shimmy. Shimmy gets him, but the button's no good. Slugbug the X overhead gets blocked this time. Jab, the jab, throw. punish, interrupt. 
All the interactions right there too, just because Slugbug was trying to tick set up a DI, but Marquita read a throw. Big punish. Slugbug cashes out. You can always get more meter and he's gonna. True, right? Yeah, and you're down a round anyway. Yeah, it's like, if listen. If you win this round, you're, you, you're I'm gonna build anyway. more meter. The he raw the DI. That was from down, down two. Marquito just not there. Drive rush is good. We're fading back. back. We're looking for a jump escape. We try to get the throw. Tech. Had to hold the frames, and now we're in burnout. Marquito gonna send it. This is critical. Art passes out. This is so sick. It's gonna hurt. Just that, oh, it hit so hard. Game nearly and, tied. And again, you can see Marquito is respecting every single jump that Slugbug oh, has because tech. of the dive kick. Huge tech. And he bakes it out! Oh. It is 1 1 right now. Slugbug excited, ready Yo, to be here. That the is the face of a competitor. The this Hooten man just lost. The, He's like, yes, a the, challenge. The Hooten and the Hollering. It's 1-1. One, one. This one's going to go all the way. Big whiff punish. his standing light kick. Drive rush. Here comes the pressure. Tick throw set up. Slugbug tried to press. Most frame trap. DP. The DP is baited. Uh, yep. Overhead, they trade, but Marquito's able to get it confirmed. And now Slugbug's in burnout state. Air to air from Marquito. Just option select between oh, the two. Dead. A hugely dominant round for Marquito here Insane. as he's trying to qualify for top eight off of this next round. Slugbug needs to find some sort of way to change the pace if he's going to make it in the winner's side. No DP. Again, Marquito is just trying to object like between the normal jumps that Slugbug can do and the dive kicks he's represented once. DP, anti-air. You see that Slugbug doesn't have to worry about those mind games that he's presenting to Marquito because Ken doesn't have any other air options. Big break. He's got two bars. What's he do with it? One Spans bar. one. He's gonna take the setup here. Same side, neutral jump. The jump out from Marquito to Caught escape him, below. But no, no confirm. He hit him twice, but didn't get a confirm out of either one of them. Now we're back to neutral. Both sides looking for the next hit. It's Marquito that gets a punish on the throw attempt. We're back in the corner now, looking for a reversal, but Slugbug will take the jump out. Oh, oh that had to be a misinput. That's an input error. That's 100. Punish, counter, round, hit, start. He's, he's gonna pay for it big time. That might have been able to be a kill if Slugbug went into a level run yeah. route. Checks but him on the DI. Anyway. Here we go, anyway. last round. Final game, final round. Top eight qualifier winner side. Marquito only has one bar of super. Slugbug could build it to level three. The ride to more money becomes a lot easier if you win this game. Incredibly so. You're guaranteed placement the ESDP is ESDP in the string. Drive rushes. Two Overhead. for two in the corner. Slugbug got completely on fire, looking like Ken. He didn't just quite didn't get the confirm. No, and now he's got to be absolutely careful. The Jinrai kick's coming. Plus Frank. Plus doesn't care. Overhead. Slugbug needs one more hit. The air to air from Marquito to intercept the dive kick. Now he's back to with meter. But it's so scary. Marquito cannot make any mistake. And there oh, it is. Oh, he got it. And Slugbug, your boy Slugbug from the Springs, makes pulls top up. Eight winners side. Give it up for the boy. We have a jury in top eight. Wow. Showing up there like that. And well, Marquito representing the Ken gang still has another shot to get into the top eight from the loser side of the bracket. How but we fun. are going to see another Ken take the stage as we just saw Veach a little bit earlier. It's time for Veach to make that play again. This is our second favorite to win the tournament for today, How I would think. fun. Dude, this is so sick. How fun. We get we to do this. Yeah. Look what we've done, Steak. Incredible. 160 players this week, and, and it's... Uh, we ran on time. Yeah. Pools took an hour and a half. We Capcom had... finally made a good game offline. Let's go. Finally. I don't know it took you so long. Hey, man. They Ever since Devil May Cry 5, they've been hitting. They've been hitting. You can put the I... A team back in or something, bro, because the last two games I played from Capcom were MVCI and Street Fighter 5. So. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, the last two that I played, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Godlike and uh, Devil May Cry 5, and that's been one of my favorite mm -hmm. games of all time. Mm -hmm. Cap Gods are back. Welcome to the rain, my friends. And we got yeah. more of the gods of the so Street many, Fighter scene out here. So many different, you know, mm. players from so many different scenes really giving this game a serious shot Yeah, today. no. I, again, there's sort of like these phenomena that sort of have happened, I think, in the last five years for the FTC. Yeah. Dragon Ball Fighters was like, for me, the start of a new melting pot where everybody who plays a fighting game, they know Dragon Ball. They know the Kamehameha. Yeah. So there was a whole bunch of people playing that. You had Goichi fighting Leffen in that year one, a Smash player yeah. fighting a Street Fighter player in yeah. that game. And now then we saw something similar occur with uh, Guilty Gear Strive just because it was the rollback netcode at yeah. the time where there was no offline events because of COVID-19. 
And so everybody kind of gravitated toward that game, another melting pot. And now Street Fighter VI says, it's my time to come back. Y'all yeah. forgot where you came from in the first place. Thank goodness, because my, my god, did we need a really good new Street Fighter game. I know, I mean, the most recent Street Fighter game is Godlike. Yeah. Think about that. Finally. It's Godlike. So we've got Crazy J from KDQ playing the game. Bon again with your button checks. It's not me, he says. Sure, 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 sure. In the meanwhile, my friends, they're what doing their button it? checks. I don't know. 2021. Apparently. Or whenever street. Well, yeah, that's not really not that. But yeah. That's what we're Listen, saying. I tried to explain it to them already, but they just didn't right. get it. Like, I don't know if. Right. They can't well, they were hear going me back in. They don't understand. I mean, you know, seeing is believing. And let me tell you, Veach is the, certainly kind, the kind yeah, of guy that needs to see. You can see the button light up when you press it. Seeing is believing. Seeing Nothing believing. changes from there. I don't know, man. It's just like, is this really like Ken's heavy kick, though? Regardless, Ghost be gone. Crazy J rocking the Zan, Geef, and Beach. Another Ken player. Another Springs OG. Mm -hmm. We don't really have a follow up after the target combo, but Beach so far. Oh, okay. he tried to shimmy, but too slow. Crazy J now has Beach cornered. The end! Oh. Godlike from Crazy. Huge. Yo, and I mean. Oh, he tried what? to do it again. We got all kinds of players coming to this game. Anime players, new players, old players. Crazy J's a man in his 40s. Oh, yeah. He's got like like that. Yep, it's too good. Back throw. throw back in. Crazy either, is a murder. Either player has a chance to win this one. Plus frames back throw. Veach giving himself a chance. The and true string setup. If you have a heavy normal, you can go heavy into DI, and if the opponent blocks it on the ground, yeah, they are eating do, that DI. Yeah, we can't do anything. It's a checkmate situation. So Veach recognizing that. Crazy J not trying to call it out. Because I wonder if Crazy J, because some characters have those level ones that are invincible, and so that's how you deal with that situation. Because yep. there is a gap, it's just a true string. And you can't mash on it, you can't throw out of it. The only thing you can do is a level one super if your big, character has that tool. Big dunk from CJ, looking good. All the cross up here. Uh, look at that, the punish counter from the standing medium kick into the stand and uh, the crouching medium. Oh, he hit button. Little scuff, little scuff. He's just, he's just doing shit. Yeah. He's made his mind up. Adoken, sort of looking. You're seeing Crazy J slowly advance, doing like this little crouch walk, trying to scout the low as he's slowly advancing forward. Street Fighter Nooch. Yeah, but he's getting caught by fireballs. Yep. Ah, whiff punish by the standing Beach fierce. Take games one. Yep, looking good. Strong player. And Crazy J immediately back to character select. Goes to Ryu instead, not feeling the Zangief right now. Uh, understandable. Mm -hmm. And now he did mention to me in uh, in the top 32 break that this may be a possibility. Um, he feels like he's starting to get to the point where uh, he has to play more of Street Fighter VI than just regular Zangief neutral. Yes. And uh, that's a little bit easier to do with legacy knowledge with Ryu than it is over a character like Zangief. Exactly, right, yeah. Again, you got all these old heads. These are characters who have been in so many different versions of Street Fighter. Street Fighter yeah. II Turbo, Street Fighter III Third Strike, Street Fighter IV Ultra, or Omega Editions, right? Like, these are characters oh, that you recognize. Oh, big DI from Crazy J. Combo. And look at this. Slop? I guess not. No, it looked pretty clean, but the thing is, Crazy J it went into Burnout, didn't have an OD Donkey Kick to then find up and destroy Yukin, so gives up the Oki, has to settle for the Dungeon Charge instead. Yep. Nasa but at least he gets something out of it, right? True, right? You know, it's better, way better than the situation it could have been in, and big stun, and this is a situation you want to stay out of. And Veach keeps it simple as well. There might have been a kill into the level two Jinrai kicks, but instead... Oh, fireballs in the corner. Oh, and he got him. He got him with that Hadouken. Veach just one more, and he's, he's in top eight. super strong thus far. He is, but Crazy Jake, the Ryu pick, I think, is looking a lot better than the Zangief. It's just a matter of Veach. He's just that much better. Nice throw tech, though, in the plus three situation. Great awareness. Oh, he run tried to call PP, out. Yeah. He tried to use the frames from the run cancel because it's projectile and Vona, right? He wanted to call out Hadouken, but Crazy J recognized it when he saw that his... No fireball. Hadouken. Yeah. No fireball. No fireball. Oh, you're trying to run? I'm going to wait. Dash up throw tech. Looking for Crazy dash J. Dash cancel on the crouching medium. Ooh, Gets the second burnout. dash cancel. Gets the bounce. Level three. Buying himself That's some time for the drive. bitchin' combo. It is a very bitchin' That's combo. That's a bitchin' combo. So he equalizes the life bar, but now he's got maybe eight seconds of this burnout to survive oh, through. If he even gets to live. Oh, no, oh, no the, the drop. Uh, no. Okay. Chip kill. Checkmate. Well, and he nearly twice blew that. Yeah, no. That's sort of like, that's 
a hallmark of oh, man, an early event. Nerves, as well as oh. just like, oh, you don't man, have the nervous. muscle memory that. You don't have the muscle memory quite down yet because the game's been out for like a day. Oh, big DI to catch that fireball. Good damage from a two. Looks for the shimmy, doesn't get it. Nice air to air, air. the full pickup oh, as well. that's just mean. Throw tech is good. Plus frames, oh, but the DI. No, no plus frames here. Gets a combo. Okay. Decent amount of damage. Nice anti air. Old man reactions. Still looking good. Made him hold the drive button or the parry button. Plus frames. Plus. Wow, yeah, I like the jump. Neutral jumped anyway. I like the neutral jump from Crazy just to call it a throw and a V went for a slower button like he did. Ah, oh, but the whiff. But the whiff. That and is he knows. it. Yeah. A head shake. He knows that. That was on him. And honestly, I think if he plays Ryu first. That probably goes better. Yeah, no, we're at that point in the bracket where it's like you kind of have to have the legacy knowledge and yeah. some of that maybe beta experience, right? Yeah. To sort of keep up with some of the players that are going to be running into. Beach now, our third qualifier for winner side of top eight. We have one more winner side match to showcase for y'all, and then we should be able to showcase a couple of losers. Qualifiers. I would think so, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it is Havoc Noah and Johnzo coming up next so you know I, we, we, we're not... talking about old street fighter names here's two people who aren't street fighter names to my knowledge no they're both very good anime players in their own right right having Nola, like one of our best guilty gear strive players yeah. basically demolished all the brackets he competed in for guilty gear strive the first year the game was out yeah Tom Bid, getting Tom back Tom into top two form top three form Tom Voltion showed up you know yeah Tom Voltion awoken you know you know and then uh Johnzo, also another uh player uh from the guilty gear strive scene that i can think of and uh, I mean, I knew they would do damn well. Yeah. When I played them online, I was like, yo, he's way too clean. Yeah. He's way too clean. So this should be a yeah, very be exciting good. match. He's going to be good. Uh, I think he's the kind of player who is able to kind of pick the game apart early, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to give him an, an advantage for quite a while in this game. Yep. And looking at the bracket as well on my cell phone, I mean, everything's running pretty much on time. We're all, all of our losers round three matches are either running or done. Oof. And that means we have all of the top eight losers qualifier matches to do right after this. So we should be able to get everything on stream for all y'all. So we got so many sets right now happening. So many. It's going to be absolutely sick. Noah, showcasing the Marissa has a lot of things to deal with some of the system mechanics that you see in Street Fighter 6. Armor breaking moves and DI is an armor universal function. So even in Burnout, Marissa has tools to deal with it. Jamie, another character from the betas that we've kind of been seeing. Yep. But I think we're really going to see what this character is all about in Jonzo's hands. Drunken Master. Uh, they're doing a butt checking game. I heard oh Noah. Oh my I heard god. Noah. I heard Noah. What do you mean you want to do it in game? That's dog shit. I gotta see it to believe it. Imagine not trusting a normal menu in a fucking computer game. I mean, in fairness, probably like, you know, checking input delay, something like that. That's not what they're doing. They're just paranoid. No, they're not doing... All they're doing is making sure their buttons are correct, which is very easy to do without going... Listen, Steak, you won the battle of the Bluetooth. Let them have this. No. <laughs> no. Wasted my stream time. I That's hope fair. the CPT bans button checks. <laughs> That'd be dope. That would be dope. That'd, That'd be, be funny. Dope. All right, Havoc Noah, Johnzo. Here we go. DP motion to start. And, and we're already drink. getting the drinks now. Yeah. Johnzo has access to some new moves. That's the thing. Jamie unlocks more le moves. Looking for level four and more damage. Starts at 90% damage. Yes, and now there should be at 100. Yep. I think they peak at 110. Oh, the oh. drive rush into DI. Johnzo is clean. I told you all this. He should have dive kick from Jamie unlocked if I remember my levels, but here's the throw from Noah. Oh, got oh, him again. Now we're grappling. Went for a second time, but at the he back tech from Jonzo gets out of the not situation. Go far enough. There's the dive kick. Jonzo looking for the next combo. Ooh. And I love okay. this patient play from Jonzo. You can see Noah is just trying to gorilla his way through it. Oh, he's trying to push. There Any he air. Is. Yeah. Johnzo playing clean so far, catches him with that overhead. My clean. man out here looking like a brand clean. of Magic Eraser. It's too good. Mm. It's too clean. clean. The low sweep, brother. Full right. screen. More damage. Now Noah's trying to shake up the game plan. He's like, okay, I can't Gorilla against you, so now I'm going to play a little more cautiously. Yeah. Now Jamie's drinks reset with every round, yes. unlike Manon's throw levels. Yes. Ooh, oh, we dropped no. the combo though. And there's the DP from Jonzo. Just Day get one. out. Made him pay. Catches. Goes for a drive rush. 
Not opting for more drinks. He's, out, he's out of meter. It's got to be scary. Yep. The jump out, though. Cross up punish. Oh, Goes into level, level three, three. But the draw opportunity. It. No. I feel like Noah had a combo into level three super to get him in the corner. Speaking of. Yeah. Now, uh, this is a waste. Oh. That, in my opinion, he, so he can level one there. Mm -hmm. Get the same effect of his, uh, you know, his opponent being dead. But he wouldn't be out of cheese. Right. And that's a Guilty Gear Strive mindset. True, true. But uh, the thing is, they both are on equal footing for their meters, so it's not like Noah's fallen behind, but he could have been more but ahead. But he could right? have been more ahead. Yeah, and, and this this game is going to be about optimizing that butter. Exactly. And right now for day one, the most optimal combo is the one that you don't drop. That's fair. Cancel. Nice anti-air. Jonzo so consistent with those. Marissa doesn't have those air options that we see from characters like Jury. She's got the, uh, the, hand, the, the hand chop, which isn't too bad. Uh, I'm just not seeing a lot of players use it. They're opting for that DP motion uh, overhead instead. Oh, there's the low. The armor stance right. Plus frames. Reversal from Jonzo again. In the corner. Oh, oh the armor, though, from oh. Noah dealing with the DI that Jonzo wanted to set up. And the crowd loves that one. Street Fighter VI is so visually oh, auditorily it satisfying. Just it just makes so me all sorts of pent up. It's incredible. I got, I got, I got something to take care of. I'll be back. Yeah, it's insanity. You know, seeing a drive impact on drive impact. Woo! Yes. Full combo here from Jonzo. Not going for drink levels. Oh. The armor. All right, Noah able to grill his way through that situation. Goes up 1-0 on Jonzo. Which. I mean, honestly, he was behind for about 90% of that. That's crazy. Tabby has him. So it's 1-0. 1-0. Havoc Noah. Johnzo taking a moment. I like this. Slowing it down. Take we all see tip. that Street Fighter Six. you can hit rematch your back instantly. I character selects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. You can rematch instantly, but the thing is, if you don't hit yes rematch, you can take your time. Yeah. I like that from Johnzo. No thumbs up in this game. It's so funny that people complain about, dude, rematch is too quick. It's like, have you ever thought of not pressing the rematch button? Yeah, I assume. Have you ever thought of just not? Yeah. <laughs> you control it, brother. You oh, say when you press the button. Breaks through. Noah's starting to look comfortable. Yeah, right? No, using Mercer's tool, she's definitely a character that seems very strong. When you have a character that is able to deal with the system mechanics that oh, everybody is figuring out. Armor. You have a recipe for a character that can just ignorant gorilla their way through a bracket. You know, 30 seconds ago, it looked like Noah was going to lose game one, and now he's on set point. And that's Street Fighter Six on day two. Nice anti-air again from Jonzo, playing incredibly clean. All right, Noah missing a punish. Punish counter from Jonzo. Very short hits, though. A lot left on the table. Plus? No, not plus enough. There's a low punish counter. Nice from Jonzo. Take a drink. Dive kick unlocked. Now that does that beat out the startup of the oh no the armor maybe oh big DI. yeah no so the armor option that Noah's presenting it deals with everything that isn't a low okay yeah about one or two hits of it I think as well I'm unsure of the number but then from there you get the armor then you have an overhead a low and a command throw yeah to to. yeah yeah you get the options Johns are just disengaging tries to get the jump in Noah respecting pressure good blocks. Mm -hmm. Nice and patient, but there's oh, the sweep. Caught by that sweep. Our Johnson. stream runner a little quick to the trigger for getting the round count. I love you, Dwight. Johns is still alive. Oh, beats him out with the DI early. Maybe not worth the meter? Arguably not. Noah's spending all of his trying to get in. Johns with the jump out. Oh, good, Andy here. Johns is so consistent with those. And so now, consistent. throw loop time. Fading back from the Rekkas. Oh, no reaction either. You had to assume something like that's coming right. You There's the armor, like though, from Noah. Wake up reversal from Johnson. Oh, Johnson with the ODDP. Oh, does it again. Command throws there. Character is sick. Oh, my Fancy lord. Air. Bro, Johnson's gone from Annie airing Noah's jumps to Annie airing oh, the DPs. Three. Come on. Now, he wasn't at C8? Nope. No, he's not, so Noah's gonna live, but you do get a Hang juggle on. afterwards. Hang Plenty on. of damage. Here comes Same the setup. Side. The reversal from Noah dealing with strike oh! throw! And this is critical he wins art! It. Oh, and he wins it. He wins it off the reversal! Let's go. Top eight, Avic Noah qualifying winner side. Uh. He's been trying to make sure that he gets into this. Prize pool money, and so far, he identified, yo, if I play Marissa, I can ignorant my way through the system mechanics. 
and I can do damn good work. So shouts to Havoc Noah, one of our TOs, qualifying in the top eight. And once y'all uh, start to see, get a look at me, I'm gonna remind y'all what's on the line here. What is on the line today is not only $1,000 in the prize pool, as well as like the $1,350 we have from signups, from people showed up. It's this beautiful micro snack box from Junk Food Custom Arcades, complete with a separate PlayStation 5 compatible board. So you could win Street Fighter VI, slap that board in, and then go win your next tournament on this today. Only if you're here. Sign up for my bracket right now. If you're looking to win something else, we have the raffle prize, a Akihabara-inspired design of the Junk Food Custom Arcade box. Uh, all of these designed by uh, my wonderful artist, Delphi Burrito. Shoutouts to them. They are phenomenal with the work that they do. This will be the grand prize for the raffle tickets. Again, complete with a PlayStation 5 compatible board that you can put in. It's so awesome to have these. Thank you so much, Junk Food Custom Arcades, for this sponsorship. You all help make this event even that much more special. And, I mean, take, this, is, this is the beginning of a new era. Street Fighter VI is the next gen of fighting games. We're moving to PS5s for this particular game. Finally. Of, finally. finally. A bunch of games are going to stay on PlayStation 4 just because turns out they got more input delay on the PlayStation 5, which is unfortunate. But Street Fighter VI, no. Full PS5. No. Full PS5. Ain't none of that PS4 120 stuff. hertz monitors, too. Yep. And Akihabara think, Arcade here has the expansion. We got a whole bunch of new space. Oh, it's so sick. Built in monitors yeah. to the walls. You don't have to bring a monitor again. Bring it if you want to have a casual, dedicated yeah. setup around the back. In the corner. We left a, like a corner by the bathroom for you, Melty. Yep. Players. Two more bathrooms. Two. As well. Two That's more bathrooms. Two more places for Melty players. Put we're out. working on a couple of other things right there. We have some monitor TV set up. Unfortunately, we're not able to use them to have people watch a live match on one of the stations because it's a 60 hertz monitor. Yeah, we didn't think of that. We didn't think of it. Yeah, so we didn't think of that. It will work fine for PlayStation 4, it's not PlayStation 5. The only thing disappointing about this tournament so far is that we're not I, getting paid. Well, there's that. <laughs> they also told me that I couldn't enter the raffle, so that's bullshit. yeah, yeah, because we're TOs. Conflict of interest. Fucked up. It's it's fine until one of us wins it, then the accusations come out. I it's then accuse. Then accuse away. Yeah. Right? I, 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 well, you know what I'm gonna accuse you of? Accusing you of commentating top 32 with me. Yeah. As we got our next game right here. I saw right. Marquito sit down. I need to see these players. <laughs> oh, and yeah, it's yeah. Otter. Shouts to Otter Fate fighting their way through the entire bracket. We <laughs> saw them go down to losers earlier. Early. Too, so they were in one of the pools. To give I you ran. an like, so to get here, Otter Fate beat a mean. Yes. Then Savantrex, then Jensen is free. All those were two O's. Yes. And now uh, Amin is top 32 losers. Yeah, Amin was. Then he got eliminated by Otter. Oh. That was round one. I gave you all the top 32 losers. That was all top 32 losers. That's just oh. who they had to play in top 32 losers. I see, okay. So Otter is free, trying to get into that top eight spot. Marquito trying to get back to where Destiny has called him. As he has to go up against JP. One of the new characters for the game. A lot of people are saying, this guy's a problem. He's a zoner that can grab me from full screen. He's so got a techie I, mix up super. I think next week he's not going to be a problem. I can agree. A very strong early character, but again, yeah, we figure week. out a character's offense first, and then we figure out the defensive measures yeah, against it later. This is going to be fine. Um, but I guess we'll But to see. give you an idea, Marquito is our fourth seed for the tournament, so we've expected him to be one of the favorites. Otter Fate, 98th seed, not even on our radar. Not even on the radar. Not even on the radar, and it's gonna here they like are, that. guaranteed ninth. It's going to be like that. Jump in, no anti-air. Here we go, the GI combos, Marquito. There's that counter that beats throws and strikes. And now we're going to be eating some of these. Going That's for setup. actually super cool. Yeah, no, it is. Damn, he blocks behind him. Extra toe step is good. Nice. Marquito going for the low. Can one of those characters does have a command overhead to threaten from DI? Oh, oh he went he hit for... the wrong button. Yeah, he I think he was button. going into DI and then he wasn't able, or he went drive rush and then could not drive impact in time. That might have been the situation. Yeah, buffered it already and he was in trouble. Jinrai kicks and look at that. Otter Fate ready for the cheesy overhead. Oh, the, and he said no. That's the thing. Once you go into those crazy kicks, then you're you begging to be DI'd. Out. You can't get out. No. You are oh, begging to be DI'd. What is this? Oh, oh the mix. I, he, I'm, all I'm going to say is that he got hit. It, Facts. And that's all I know. Super meter from Power Otter Fate's why? men. I don't know. We can flab it out later. No. Bates out the counter. Bounce. Full combo from Marquito. Goes Same up. side. Whoa. I got mixed. I got mixed so hard, but bro. No pickup from Marquito. Damage so on the table. Hard. Empty jump Back throw. Up. That's the crazy thing, right? Like, you can parry the jump ins, but you gotta think about it. If they just empty, they could see that you're parrying and throw you. Marquito working on a perfect. Otter Fate interrupting it. Oh, Back throw. 
In her own. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. That's and not th real from there. That's not real, no. And the thing is, too, is that if you get that option baited, it is a punish like we saw Marquito do. Punish counter doesn't go for the command run to go for a dragon flash kick, but that's things that we are going to pick up in week two. It's going to take a lot of practice. Oh, yeah. A lot of training, a lot of setting up the dummy routines. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. And we're seeing Marquito having some answer to JP zoning. Listen, go ahead, set up your full screen stuff. I have drive rush to get across. Oh, and he shimmies the oh, but there's no combo. option. It's looking Looking long for man here, but Otter gets Hang the other on. side. Hang on. Here comes the setup. Try to parry oh, too soon. It. Reset. Nice. Marquito will check light, it. Light, light, light. Tatsumaki. Yeah, Tatsum. All right. Light, 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 light. Things look Tatsum. great for Otter round one, but Marquito answers back, and it's immediately back into round two. Oh, interrupting the drive rush with a standing fierce. That was gross. Standing roundhouse. Big button. Jinrai kicks. Overhead. Overhead reset this time. Otter oh. trying to DI out, but Marquito goes for throw. And so far, Marquito completely dominating, but now Otter fake gets the corner. Set up. DI out. Oh! oh we didn't have her punish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Something that Otter fate's going to look and go, what do I do in this situation? Yeah, especially when he DIs in the middle of it, right? Marquito on max point. And I think Otter fate is trying too much to set up these spikes, and Marquito was running through them before they can lock yeah. down. I want to see more fireballs from Otter. Yeah. Those are the things that will stop those drive rushes, right? Oh, my God, the low crush. Marquito. Super solid. Mr. Face Ruthless. Hey. Empty oh, empty jump low. Yeah. Right. DP, and he's cooking right now. He's cooking. Has to block the cross up. Empty jump back throw. Joryu, e classic. E Marquito in one more mix away. And that is it, a perfect KO. Otter Fate home at ninth place. Marquito qualifies into top eight. Absolutely clean top play. Eight. Is that how you deal with JP, or is that a JP that needs to optimize further? Well, there's no get off me tools, right? And uh, true, you got the in. counter. He went in. He stayed in. Mm -hmm. That's the thing with G with JP. You really only have the counter to deal with some of the opponent's offense, yeah. and we saw that it worked once. The Marquito baited it successfully every time after that. From there, you have to be absolutely immaculate on your defense, and even then, the universal option, right? Like the like the drive, get off of me. I can't remember the name of it, but. It was blocked. Reversal. Reversal. You drive reversal. Reversal. I don't know. Dr. I mean, two different things called dr. Reversal. Whatever. I can't remember. Chat. Name. Remind us. Twig. Tell us, please. It's insanity. How? Yo. Next many up. Mechanics. We got our boy Skillzilla back. Your boy okay. from the Springs. Okay. Rocking the cami. Yep. Versus probably the funniest name that one could say on this stream. Okay. How do you say? How, how, how do you say that? How do you say that? The joke's always on the TO, isn't it? it? It always is, man. It always is. Listen, man, I come a breaker. We got to see. Oh, I, I'm forgetting the name, and I'm so upset. It was so funny, though. Jacking off. Jack. Ing off. That was a name. And top eight of combo breaker for Uni. We don't have quite that class here for Akibara Arcade, okay, but someone will come. Uni players are a different breed, dog. True. We need some more anime players. No one said that. <laughs> no one said that. No hey, one I'll say. That. We're currently uh, waiting for those players to get up right now, but again, shout outs to our sponsor, Junk Food Custom Arcades, as well for the prize pools. Uh, one of the other prizes, we got to show off the uh, snack box micros that we have, complete with separate. PlayStation 5 compatible boards, but we also have a two different $50 gift cards. I have the codes for them on my phone. I'm going to be sending them out uh, to some of the raffle prize winners. Uh, they're going to be right there. They gave us some money to buy a couple copies of Street Fighter 6 with. That's how we use the funds anyway. So certainly helped took the edge off of it as well. It's been a fantastic partnership. Thank you all so much it's for helping solid. us out here in Colorado. Yeah. All the way from Georgia. Great. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Shouts to the Buns on Wake Up team as well, represented by yours truly. Couldn't do without Trez anymore. No, you you and Trez no. are a complete package. Couldn't your do without Trez anymore, man. You and your leadership and everything like that. Like part of the reason why everything is run so smoothly is that I had you two on. I got you two in my call court. I know everything's gonna be fine. And we do we can. You know, we've been uh, running video game turns for money for longer than we care to admit. So it might as well help out anymore. Indeed, so. too. And also shouts to the Mile High Burst team, consisting of myself, Havoc Noah, Excruciation, uh, Tanner, and Dusky. 
Uh, Tanner, kind of an infrequent attendee, but he's a busy guy with life. But when it counts, he shows up, and he's been holding it down to the front desk, selling hundreds. He has told me hundreds of raffle tickets. All that is money for us to help us buy, uh, pay off a PlayStation 5 console we picked up for today, look into more equipment purchases, pay out staff, volunteers, things like that. Yeah, but I still didn't win. I know. I can't win. It's I can't win. Stupid. Can't win. Stupid. It's crazy. I just need Rarir now. Where, where's the other boys? Yeah, imagine being in a top eight qualifier and totally gone. I got a fist bump though for my brother, my big bro. Oh, they didn't call the match. That's even funnier. We just didn't call it. We just didn't have it queued up. They just assume we're gonna stall forever, I guess. I mean, hey, I am a master staller. All right, like I can, I can do that. I've been putting off like getting a girlfriend, been putting off um, playing a new team in Dragon Ball Fighters or Street Fighter Six. One of those is a lot more important, Colin. Yeah, Street Fighter Six. Right. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Ball, baby. Anyway. 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 It's not like I have crippling social anxiety and being like, but what if? Yeah. You well, wouldn't believe it. No, I would. Yeah, right? What's it's it the now? happiest of us that are most depressed, right? It's the most outgoing of us that have the worst anxiety, I've been right? I've married twice. I have no room to talk. <laughs> Hey, at least you've been around the block, man. I am not. I am that's not a block worth being around. That's fair. I'm gonna warn you. That, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I, I'll say this too. Like I am getting the age where I am as old as my dad was when he had me. I ain't anywhere near that shit. And I'm happy with that, bro. Oh, I'm happy yeah. where I'm at. He didn't get to do this shit when he was my age. Yeah, I reckon like spread a air freshener all over the wall. Like, <laughs> you know those jelly ones, the glades oh, yeah. that you pulled. Yeah, it's everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Be the kids, man. Yeah. Also, shout out to my roommate, Sean. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. He got his present yesterday. Oh. I, I got to hear it as I left. <laughs> 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 Top eight losers qualify. Skillzilla on the cami. On the Manon. We've been seeing quite a few Manons in Bracket today, and this character, I think she yeah, might be the best Bracket. None of them really successful. No. To be totally honest. Now we've seen a few of them win, but now it's Not do they to get to top point. eight? Yeah. Are any of them going to be in the money, right? Still Jab doing Cammy shit early. Mm -hmm. And now we get the punish. The Manon reversal. Now if you see the counter underneath uh, Manon's health bar, that is her medal. She hits you with the throws, which she can either throw you with a command throw or do oh. a hit throw yes. to confirm combos. And that means that she adds damage to her throw. She becomes more threatening Dude, as a grappler. The longer level she five shit hurts. It do hurt. It do go hard. Almost got him broken out there. Couldn't quite get the normals out. I don't think he noticed, right? No. They trade. Mariru. No, Mariru. 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 Big punish. No DP. Rock rush. Next hit could win. Oh, vacuum back oh. in, but we jump, and that's a thing. Oh. If you whiff that command throw, you are stuck there waiting for yeah, it. Eternity. It's a really long time. And punish counter state, so people will be optimizing their punishes against whiff Manon command throws, and I think we're going to yep. see what that does to the character's strength overall. More answers. Overhead's good. Combo's nice full there. combo. Skills it'll oh. take it. The corner now. Could have done level three there. Good air to air. Oh. Oh, and we Does sleep on the overhead. A chance for level three here. This time he takes Yo, it. Everybody wants to see this yep. super. Catch everybody it. wants to peep it. Little piece of heaven before you go to hell. Uh, I mean, this, this game is just so good. It's so good. This you know what upsets so me, good. Steak? I'm going to have to grind stuff to unlock the second costumes. It is, yeah, a pain in the ass. Skillzilla wins game one, though. Game one, pretty cleanly. A little psyched. A little psyched, a little psyched to behold. Cammy's so sick in this game. Skillzilla with the head nod, nah, that's a scary man right there. He's that's a bad. That's a bad man. That's a bad man. That's a bad man. That man be bad. Bad man, man. Oh, there's the dive kick. Oh. No punish. Oh, never mind. I lied. Already oh, metal level two. But that's as far as Ruru -ru -ru got. Not last that's time. Right. Should take it right here. Yep. yep. Hit throw. Level three now. The air to air. What a read. Time to get thrown. Back in. It's time to get thrown. And now. But we're seeing that Skillzilla is constantly checking. There it is. Ruriru is Dead. letting the threat of the Dead. throw get Skillzilla Dead. to hang himself. Dead. Four medals to this Dead. woman's name. Dead. 
This shit about to hurt. There's a sweep. That's a massive sweep. It goes so far. It's the, Five medals, it's, baby. It's actually, Look at the damage. It's actually not a sweep. It's a command input. Command input? It That's is crazy. a command. It's quarter circle forward light kick. Bruh. I, I want to go far. Better than her sweep. Unsafe as hell, too, if that shit get blocked. Yeah, no. It can, I think it can be kind of range dependent. Safe. Oh, oh where's the punish? Ririru opting for a corner positioning instead. I think he opted for panic instead, to be totally honest with you. That's also fair. There is a disco here. Overhead combo. Looks like we dropped it to wake up level three. Oh, oh. jump into throw. Oh, a level. It's a throw. It's a throw. You're dead. You it's are critical dead. Arc you is are dead. Above it. You are goodbye. Oh, yeah. I told you. Dead. Look at skill. He's like dead. Uh. Completely dead. Bro, deleted, defeated everything you've ever been. No mercy. You're dead. Here we go. CA, Manon CA. She starts singing to you. La, 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 la. Start going home. It's a funeral song, baby. Skills getting gassed up by the crowd out there. You love to see Not it. Loving to see it so far. Ririru having the classic Manon round, I think, as it's going to be known going forward. Just getting all the medals attached. Wake up throw. Working out for them with the super. Oh, DI to that's, deal with the pressure fine. from skill. I like it. Again, I feel like there's going to be some special move stuff that until you realize, wait, what if I just drive impact this? They're going to be really strong early on, but we're going to find out that there's going to be different oh. situations to use for it. Spacing wasn't right there for skills. Ririru is just driving himself right back into this round. Ririru. Ririru. I, that's how I think I'm going to say it from now on. Any air, though, skill. Super aware. Demonstrating why he has that word in his name. Oh, and here we go. He's one round away. One round away. Crowd loves it. Making some noise back there. Winner of this gets into the money for top eight, my friends. It's going to be absolutely immaculate. Don't forget, we do have a Macharino exclamation point. Oh. Macharino in the Twitch chat to find the link to donate or fill out a few sponsorship quests to raise money for the top eight players. Stagger's good there from skills. The jump in's two. Same kick. side. Got the crush. Got level three, but a second quite serving. Get it. Now he can level three and end this. Chooses not to. How did you block that cross up, Ruriru? No, and now it's his turn to get the cross. But look at the difference in combo damage. There's only a single button hit. There was no follow up from Ruriru. He wasn't there. Interrupts the air to air. Scouting out a jump out from Skillzilla. Gets it this time. It, I mean, this is spaghetti. This is spaghetti. It's that day one tournament Both spaghetti. Oh, but you better right there! Yes, and he Skills does it. Qualified. Skillzilla does it, man. Makes top eight in the release tournament. The OG Springs Cat gets it done, and the crowd loves look, it. Look how big this audience is out there, my friends. Choose. It's only going to get crazier, too, as we get into yes. that top eight. I am so Let's scared. Go. That was sick. Street Fighter is back. The Akibara Arcade FTC is better than ever. Bigger yes. than ever, baby. It's going to be sick. It's going to be nasty. We got two more matches before two. we get into the top eight stuff. We, both of those are going to be on stream. It should be, I think, Jonzo next. Yep. Got confirmation. Yep. So we have Conquistador, who was our Death Pool winner. Yep. He signed up today. And ever since then, they're just saying, yo, my name is Death Pool winner. <laughs> yeah. But it's Conquistador for yeah. all y'all who do know him yeah. like that. And imagine that, showing all up, starting up late. All the way through. Insane. One more game. Insane. One more game they're in top eight as the winner of the death pool. That's terrifying. It's crazy. It's crazy. That's pretty lit. It is. So we're going to be finding our next uh, couple of players. Getting Jonzo and Conquistador set up for all of y'all real quick. Shouts again to our sponsors, Drunk Food Custom Arcades. They got us some dope prizes to give out to ourselves. I got some stickers, some keychains that should be floating around in the hands of some of the FGC members as well. So... They sent us all that with the snack boxes. Sure. A couple of raffle prizes, like our they trophy. Care. Yeah, they do. Uh, like we're not they the care. only local they did this for, too. Like they have invested thousands of dollars into local really? scenes across the entire United States. Wow. We were lucky enough to be one of them. And let me tell you, Steak, I cannot wait to send them the numbers from today. Yeah. Because I've seen that Twitch stream. I know there's 100 of y'all in that chat. I know there's 100 viewers on Twitch right now. And even more, it's, it's crazy to have so many people here, so many people supporting from home. It's been a wild event. It's been, uh, it's been a wild day, and uh, it's crazy to see how quickly we've been able to move through uh, this process in the first place. I mean, only two games away from c completely solidifying the top eight, and I mean... What more can you ask for? The, the play is really starting to level up. As well. Yeah, no. starting to see people who have really... I am to most excited to see every match of this top eight, because top that is going to be, be disgusting. Insane. It's going to be... 
uh, otherworldly. I think it's going to be really good. Yeah, no. I think it's been the dedicated Street Fighter players, the players who have quickly figured out everything about this game, who have been able to practice in any way that they could. Yep. Yeah, they're going to go back. It's so cool that you not locked into an option, you pick and go, wait, I don't want to do that. I want to back up and do that. So back Finally, to character select. The quality of life is insane. I want every fighting game to be released. Yes. After this, to have every standard yep. and every feature that Street Fighter 6 has. This is the most complete release fighting game ever. that I've ever seen. Ever. Ever. Like, how is this game so good? It has everything. It's very good. Like, it is very like, good. Like, give it your strive it. as good as it is. It I'm has messed up lobby, lobbies. Yep. Like, it had everything else but the lobbies. There's a few quality of life features that I wish it had, too. There's no frame data display in its training mode as well. Two years in the game's release. How does Street Fighter 6 have it all? It's got the net play. It's got the lobby. It's oh, got... The, you could have skipped the lobby play. if you wanted to. The net play, bro. Bro, dude, I, I can oh, play it on my PlayStation 5. Oh, it's so because good. I'm like, yo, I actually kind of don't want to play on PC because I want to be used to offline standard. Because rollback netcode, I'm not playing with delay it's anymore. so good. All right, so Conquistador, the winner of the death pool, playing Guile. Jonzo, who we saw earlier, taking a shot with the Jamie. Loser go home. Winner Loser go paid. home, and now Conquistador, of course, one of the Kings of Colorado crew members as well. So those are some old heads for the FGC out here. Jonzo, to me, a newer face, and I think to many people, a newer face. So battle of the old guard and new guard, as again, playing out oh, in the character select. Oh, here we go. That's big. Oh no! Oh my god, he's got those. He's got those. Hey bro, how do you bait that? The hey, hey, somebody call the cap cops right now. Yo, call him. Yo, dial Bam him in. this man from the Pro Tour. Dial him in. Dial him, because you know what? There ain't no fucking one. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't I think no we, way. we got a suspect right now, but... I mean, you know, at this rate, everybody in our top eight is going to be banned. Yeah, they were all playing. I, I promise you. I promise you. I, I promise mean, you. Is, it be what it be. Oh, still safe on that one. Jonzo trying to find the answers. Conquistador not able to convert from the double light jabs. Just hold the DI. Now trying to find neutral right now, but Guile, if oh. there's a character that controls neutral so well, it's this character. Imagine, oh, you don't have to pick so a beat trigger for that anymore. You just have it all the time, every day. Oh, big mix in the corner. Meaty's good. Oh, the shimmy. Oh. Jonzo, nice jab. Nice anti air. That was deep, too. Uh, and he got caught. That was probably the hit he needed to win it. Conquistador is like, you know, I'd rather win this round. So There's I'm the DI, but happen. Conquistador picking safe buttons to deal with DI pressure, right? Oh. Oh, he's oh, for a he got him. That's disgusting. He's dead. And this is critical He's art? dead. He's no, it's a oh. soft hit. He didn't get the cinematic. Oh, oh sick and shimmy. and he shimmies him anyway. It's never the first shimmy that kills you. It's the second shimmy you yeah. fall for. Um, Bro, why... Why is there character damage on Guile? You're taking hits and you're actually getting scuffed who up in game. Who the fuck sent him to losers? I think I saw that one, actually. That's crazy. Hold up. It would have been in, um... They qualified through loser side. No, you can't do that, can you? Oh, big DI. Jonzo giving himself a chance in the corner. Deathpool lost to Ruriru. In the uh, final to get out of the pool. In the winner's uh, final of it. From there, they've been on a losing, uh, a okay. tear in loser side. All right. All right. Here we go. Jonzo, no sense. slouch himself. Just trying to apply pressure. Kakiza sort of says, I'll take wow, the throw. Wow, the walk-up throw gets tagged on the first attempt. That's just incredible thinking and mindset. Nice, Annie. Jonzo has been so clean with those. And, they're, and you can tell their own reaction just by how deep. Exactly. Right? How deep before that hit almost comes out. They're on reaction every time. What a jump out from the drive rush pressure. And now Jonzo looking to find their way in. Gets the cross up block. Kakisador dealing with pressure. Oh, the low. dash up low, he got caught. All right, level one drink, a little more damage to our name. That's New special move. That's what looking for in the standing up there. Break though. dance, there's the DI. Oh, this time Kakisador not scouting it. We get the palm follow up now. Jonzo looking for his own shimmy. And look at that, there's so much that these players are looking for. They're looking for DI, they're looking for drive rush. Oh, and the KCO boys going ham in the fucking crowd out there, man. They are pumped and ready to go. Looking for the next hit. Oh, but Over. Kakisador not able to anti air. And now it's a level three from Jonzo. Buying himself time to get his drive gauge back. Conquistadors is completely frozen in burnout. And now we get the full extension. 
Oh, but oh, we dropped? dropped it. Reset though, Kaiba. Oh, but too low. I think John's Scary. a one nanny air, but no he get super the either. There's the install super from Guile. And now look at this. He's trying to chip look out the drive chip, gauge. Got it. Oh, the shimmy oh. again! Johnzo is falling for every single shimmy. The crowd is going nuts out there. Bro, is that paint smear on Guile stuff, or is that from the roses on the ground? I I, I don't know. I don't know either, bro. Don't Jamie don't have him, so I'm going to assume it's part of Guile's uniform. There's a throw. Nice. Good counter hit check. Oh, oh he he tried to break it. dance, but not enough hits. And, and it's in the corner, too, so you got to be careful here. He might get additional hits. No. Goes to the setup, but Johnzo yes. calls him out with the ODGP. Like, I've had it. Overhead, full combo. A second level one. Conquistador needs one more. Oh, Never mind. The flash kick gets it. He qualifies for top eight. Sends Johnzo home with ninth place, penniless. What, bro? This vibes. These crowds. What? Bro, he cooks that man. Holy shit. Put him in a skillet, oh added some God. seasoning in there, <laughs> tossed it with a flash kick, caught it on the upside down, and says Ooh. served. That is a problem. And Conquistador, as our Death Pool winner, our day of sign up, gets in the top eight. The dream run. The dream run. It is on loser's side. But still, you made it. You're in the bucks. In the cash. And now we got one more set of this top 32 to qualify into top eight. It is the old man, our big brother, Crazy J, showing up, up against one of the commentators we had on earlier, actually, with base Ruthless, DeLorean. Yes, we got, so Noah's- We're gonna take, to take a break after this match. After this, it saying? will be a break. Yeah. We're gonna be doing the raffle. I need a beer. We do have some announcements as well when we get back from our top 32 regarding a little special event we yeah. have planned for October. I will say less. But first, DeLorean, Crazy J, taking the stage. And my, my friends, I'm gonna say this, the diversity um, in the crowd amongst the competitors themselves, it's been immaculate today I mean, so far. And it's stacked back there. It is so stacked. It's so stacked back there. I know, right? There. And uh, it's so good to see so many beautiful faces I out here. old ass button checks. I know, right? Yeah, ready for this? I bet his old ass button checks. Probably so, man. I know. Unbelievable. You know, seeing is believing. So we'll get a top eight graphic set up uh, as well. So that'll be showcased on the stream. We'll see yeah. who our top eight commentary crew will be, but rooting for yeah, myself. Yeah, I don't think we know. Yeah, no, it was all based on who, who, how well some pairings go, who gets into top eight, all yeah. that stuff, right? So uh, we will, we will see what's up. Yeah, maybe we're back, maybe we're not. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody could be knows. just me, could be just you. Yeah, it could be neither of us. Could be neither of it us. Be, uh, we don't but either way, it's going to be a damn good pairing. I'm excited for it. As long as you end up with a beer, I think either way, true. I think I'm fine. True. Very true. Seven minutes a, uh, until the raffle starts. Last match on yeah. the stream. It's going to be fun. Dude, the schedule is perfect. We are so on time. It'll never happen again. Never. No. No. We've been trying to do this for years. Too many of them. And, uh, yeah, no. Uh, we finally, all it took was the game we've never run before. So maybe it'll go better, but Blanca. Oh, here we go. DeLorean with the Blanca. And Crazy J. I can't decide if this skin ugly or not. I know what you mean, dog. You know, Crazy like, J, we saw Crazy J, right, open up with a Zangief oh, no, earlier, it's, it's but now ugly. it's real. No, it's ugly. Yeah, it's ugly, but that's the point of Blanca. <laughs> All right, here I we go. Guess. Top eight qualifier, loser side. If you get in, Honest. you're in the money. You go home, well, you're penniless. Bro. Overhead. Overhead. Tatsumaki. Cross up, throw tech escape. Crazy are now using fireballs to get himself out of the corner. Not seeing DeLorean represent the Annie oh. fireball stuff. We tried it there. Still no hits from DeLorean. Nice there. jump on the overhead. Oh, no, he still didn't get one. Maybe a little, no, no chip damage either. Yo, seven letters for Crazy J? Never nah. mind, we found it. Side swap, but there it is. Convincing either way, 69 on the timer. Nice. Nice. Took him 30 seconds to take round one. And now we're seeing DeLorean kind of trying to move around a little more aggressively with this block. Gotta do something because what he did last round did not work. Oh, he read a fireball. Crazy J now no recognizing that, oh, you're looking for my fireballs? I'm putting them away. Beautiful routing. 
Goes to the low, but we're seeing DeLorean go for these fuzzy jumps. Oh, here we go. Look at this sequence. Okay, that was oh, pretty hype. That was pretty oh, nice. Oh, same side. Bro, mix Other up. Side oh. this time. DP's too early. Gonna be an ugly whiff, but. Crazy J finally has a health uh, Now we're in burnout as well. No parries, no drive impact, no rush. He's got CA though. Oh my god, he juggled after trading? Oh, Ain't no shot! Oh. Ain't no shot, DeLorean! The crowd loved that one. That's pretty loved high. Loved Listen. that one. Listen, man, I love Crazy, but a Blanca in top eight, oh, day one would release. Be, would be sick. That would be sick. I'm just saying. I think we already got a Ryu in top eight. I can't remember anymore. Combo's good. Got him again. Same like confirm. Uh, he's not even sure what side he's on anymore, is no. he? I'm not I, I, he's held up forward so much. Oh! DI and the panic situation. I'm panicked. And oh, oh, beautiful sequence. Fading back, fading oh, the DPs. Crazy J, that's the third one he's gone for. Mm -hmm. Old man I reactions? Don't, I don't know. I don't think he knows what's going on. This character has not been played very much, especially in the, you know, this third, level. 24 hours it's been out. Bro, things were looking so clean for De uh, Crazy J in that round one, but DeLorean just completely woke up. The beast is awake. Go to and Keith. The crowd's asking for it. He does go to the Zangief. Okay, no. I can. I think I can agree with this. The Blanca color change. Oh, yeah, too, right? It's like, listen, if I'm blue Blanca, I deal with Hadouken. Yeah. If I'm green Blanca, I'm I out do. throwing yeah, you. I'm just going to win it. Drew Tech getting a photo real quick of our top... 32 competitors, and now we're playing a much slower game. Strong like that. And we're looking for SPD here. We're looking for ball combos. If you're DeLorean, things are going to get weird, ladies and gents. Oh, good. Confirm, though. The low's there, too, in his face. Command throw. No, that's regular throw. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't Second think Blanca has a command throw. I wasn't throw. sure. It's just the animation at first kind of looked like it. Oh, oh no but we don't combo. have a combo. Oh, who cares? Who cares? Scramble situations, I'm a Blanca player. Another serve, That's he's it. just... He's done it. Oh, is what oh, you would say. Oh, oh, SPD. Oh, it's a long comeback don't. for Crazy J, though. You get the one throw, and then you're back to full screen with the Zangie. Oh, no. The and ball's too fast. The crowd favoring DeLorean pretty heavily here. Absolutely so. There it is, punish counter. Dunks. Chase tries to chase the jump, not able to connect with the standing heavy. Level three now. Excuse me. Level oh level two install. I don't know my animations yet. Someday. Oh, oh that's gross. CJ catching him right out of the sky. Bring him back down. A second serving. And now you're in Zangief's yeah, world. Now, yeah, now it's just any touch is gonna do it here, right? So yeah, a, lot, you can a, lot these, a lot of these normals are gonna work just fine. Yeah, and he yeah, wastes no. this time. He saw the same thing last time. He threw a fireball when he was playing Ryu, said, I bet. He's going to do, do it again, but now I have to ask DeLorean, what fireball from Zangief are you looking for when you do that? I, I, honestly, I think that's just a knowledge check that he's, yep. he's just kind of autopiloting because of True. day two. Nice anti-air, full combo with a juggle. And so Other far side? from DeLorean, we haven't oh, seen a little. Oh, yeah, but that's going to cover both sides in the air up there. And Bro, super smart anti-air. They hit each position. other with the same kick. That's godlike. Bang. Checking it. Mixing up the options. And if you're CJ, you might as well wait, right? Yep. Oh, oh, he chases he's the jump him. out. Oh, that's gross. DeLorean trying to read the ground SBDs instead gets caught in the air. Oh, and he got him again. Crazy Jace found the he rhythm. Needs one more hit. He's in burnout state, but he's still controlling oh, the state of the pair. He, he beats something out there. Overhead. Level three. Oh, but he drops oh. it. Any hit will do. Oh, and CJ does it. Calm, CJ cool, does it. Collected the man of Crazy J trying to cook and get into top eight. It's 1-1. One, one. It is 1-1. One, one. Look at it. Look at, look at this crowd. Look at this. Look at the crowd back there. Everybody packed in, just waiting to see who the last spot goes to. It's 1-1. One, one. It ends here. Only one man can enter into the top eight between these two. They have to decide between a Crazy J, betting it all with the Zangeep switch up. It paid off in game two. He needs to check out one more game. Oh, the low slide. Caught him pressing. Out. Nice anti air. They trade. Does and it again. Yeah, look at this. he gets all of that from a trade anti air. That's crazy. Drive impact. Not going to find anything. Oh, oh, he tried to do it on reaction. Oh, 
my god. The audience is so loud, I can barely get a word in. He had decided already, yep. and it cost him heavily. Stefan, you got another round to play with. We check Hulk him with out. the jab. Anti-air, he's dead, right? No, no, if he If you have the start. combo, he fades back with the double lariat. Good whiff punish. Any hit will do. Spacing's good. DeLorean, one more round, and top eight is theirs. Back against the wall if you're Crazy J right now. Crazy J trying not to be fed to the Lions in the background. You know that's what they're waiting for. Oh, he tried oh, to armor through it. Yeah, he's, tr he's trying to figure, he doesn't know what the option is, and so you're watching yeah. in real time a man lab yeah, right. in right. a and top I, eight qualifier. A wise player once told me, if you are labbing a matchup mid-set, you are losing. Yeah. But it's a day two tournament, so what choice do you have? No, what choice do you have indeed? Oh, Find the catches answer. it out. Drive impact, yep. don't react. He goes for a setup, baits out the reversal. Misses oh, the SPD though, no he's too SPD far. This time. In Jumps. his face. There's Doesn't nothing he can do up yeah, there. No, not quite. Oh, pushes back this time. CJ's out now. Now if DeLorean blocks anything, he's gonna get put into burnout state. Gets a drive bar back though, so it's a lot less Lots bad. Of time. That's not enough to take it. Overhead. Crazy J just chilling, going slow and steady, just like, come on, hang yourself. Oh, come on, good step whiff. forward. I just want to hug you. I just want to hug you. Double area gets oh, intercepted. No. Level two super. Yep. Oh what my god, he tech. Tech That's that? That's huge. What Absol a throw tech, the awareness. Absolutely insane. You Locker. can see him, he's buffering. Oh, he tried to drive rush in there. Oh. He drops it. The punish counter, but there's nothing else for Crazy J. The area for DeLorean. The low? Checks him. Is that enough? No. No, not quite. He baits out a throw. Oh, there's no punish. It just didn't hit a long enough button. The back dash went too far. DeLorean trying to secure top eight. Crazy J trying to hang alive. Stone Cold, he's just looking at him. 13 seconds on the clock. He tried rushes and into his own it. defeat. DeLorean will qualify, and it is Blanca over Zangief to round out and, our top eight bracket. And the crowd loves it. My God. That is What a top 32 we had to get a set of we top, top eight, eight players. We have a top eight to do There's next. a top eight coming your way. 732, we're on top. So that was absolutely godlike, my friends. We got some cool shit to announce. I think we will announce that when we get back from yeah. top eight. In the meanwhile, thank you all so much for tuning in and watching it. We are going to do our raffle and take a 30 minute break. Do not go anywhere because Street Fighter VI release event at Akibara Arcade in Westminster, Colorado, sponsored by Junk Food Custom Arcades, continues 8, 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 30 minutes. Be there. Don't miss it. What are you doing? Did you watch that? Insane. I watched it. Insane.